All right. Um, Shalom. When I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And our W salutation, Shalom, to the Aki and the brothers that's on the highways and byways, pushing the truth and sincerity. You know, the hopeful, the elect, that's, uh, you know, that's pushing the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the ministry. Just the brother Shaquat Gabar from the um, Great Millstone, you know, Charlotte Camp, coming at you with another lesson. And my lesson, once again, and always, is to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, man. You know, basically, man, I'm going to touch you on today about, you know, uh, the Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans uh, on, on slavery, man. You know, us going into captivity under the so called white man. You know, which are the Edomites and and, uh, uh, and the rest of these heathens, man. You know, you know, because you got this, you know, controversy that's going on now that's, you know, about, you know, Kanye West, which is a, a, a rapper, you know, coming out saying that the, the, the slavery that the blacks, not only just the blacks, but the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans also, but in, in particular, he's focusing on the blacks, saying that the slavery that we, you know, that we, which we are still in slavery today, but the slavery that happened, you know, centuries ago, you know, 400 years ago, when we first came over here to the shores of America on the cargo slave ships, man. You know, he said that uh, it was a choice, man. When, uh, no, you know, not knowing that the reason why the, the, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are in slavery or went into, you know, went into slavery under the so-called white man because we are the children of Israel and because of our rebellious against the law, statutes, law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord Yahweh gave us, man. You know, and I'm gonna go into some scriptures proving that the Lord put us in slavery, man, for our rebellious and what we done against His um, holy name and, and His and His law, statutes, and commandments. Um, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse uh, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thou fathers had known even wood and stone. So the Lord scattered the nation of Israel, man, amongst all nations, man. So you're going to have Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, amongst all nations, man, amongst the white man, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs, you know, the, uh, the East Indians. The Hamites, which are the real Africans, man, you know, because because of, uh, because our rebellious, man, and that was a curse that the Lord did upon the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, man, scattering us, scattering us uh, amongst the, the heathens, man, and, and being subject on the dumb, man, you know, you know, pushing us out of our land, man, during the time of 70 A.D., you know, when the Romans pushed us uh, out of the land, and we ran in different parts of Africa. Uh, 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 and uh, Europe, you know, China, you know, uh, India, and also to the northern kingdom, which represent, you know, the Puerto Ricans, the, you know, the Native Americans, you know, the Cubans, the Mexicans, you know, the Lord had done, you know, been uh, been taken out of the land also uh, through the power and under the hand of uh, the Assyrians, man, you know, way before, you know, the, uh, after the times of King David and King Solomon, man, you know, so the Lord scattered us and brought us out of our land and put us in this strange land, which are these foreign lands, which are not our, our home, man, but our place of captivity, man. Um, and there, you know, the Lord said we're going to serve other gods, you know, these false gods, man. That are majority of our people, you know, here in America, America particularly, man, worship, you know, Christianity, Baptist, Methodist, Roman Catholic, you know, Islam, Egyptology. You know, because the Lord punishing us, you know, for not, you know, for not obeying him and his son, not believing on his word. So he, so he led our people, you know, in, into captivity and, and them to believe on these other gods, these false gods that they think they are real, man. Not knowing that the line, the Lord set them up for their judgment, man. You know, since they want to, you know, praise and give honor to these false gods, man, the Lord led them to their destruction, man, and gave them over to their ruins, man. But only the elect, man, the 144,000, the one-third of the, of the nation of Israel is going to come into the Lord, the Lord, 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, the Lord, Yahweh, you know, who the world called, who the world called God, and the Lord, Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ, man, which are two so-called black men, you know, that rule the world, man, and that create everything according to the scriptures, man, the Bible, man, you know, and only the elect is going to come back and, and take heed, man, and believe on Yahweh Shah and be saved out of the destruction of America. America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire in, the, in this World War III, man, by the hand of Russia and, and, uh, and our other nations that got nuclear capability, man. And we drawing near and near, closer and closer to every day, man. But right before that, man, you're going to have famine in America, the dollar collapse, the RFID chip, the mark of the beast being pushed. You know, you're going to have race war, you know, FEMA camp, martial law, you know, all that is going to be the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah upon two-thirds of his people, man. Two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for not taking heed and not believing on Yahweh Shah, man. And not, you know, taking heed to his word and believing on his men that he set up, man. Um, verse 25. This is Deuteronomy 20, 28. I mean, Salaki. Deuteronomy 28, verse 65. And among these nations shall thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy feet have rest. That means slavery, man. You know, among all nations, man, in particular right here in America, man, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans don't have rest, man. You have to get up every day, man, to work to make ends meet, man. You know, you have to, you know, uh, uh, serve your enemies, man. And you pay taxes, you know, pay any type of federal government, like uh, uh, child support or, or Pay these bills, man, light bill, water bill, things that are supposed to be, you know, free, you know, that, you know, the energy, man, you got to pay for food, you know, clothing, because the Lord said that we were going to go to the enemy, to our enemies for the want of all things, man, since we rebelled against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, you know, so that was our punishment for, for, for turning our back on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, our power, man. Um... But the Lord shall give thee, thee there a terrible heart, fell in the eyes, and sorrow of mind. So that's why you know you got Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you know, thinking, you know, thinking about dreaming here in America, man, thinking about making it big or doing, you know, finding some type of career, man. But the Lord saying that, you know, we're going to be have a terrible heart and fell in the eyes, man, meaning it ain't going to come to pass, man. Even though you got people like Kanye West that, that might be, you know, sold out, you know, the, the, and, you know, doing all type of wickedness just to gain money and fame and fortune. You know, doing all type of wicked sacrifices, man. You know, just to worship Satan and get, like I say, money and, you know, and fame. You know, not, but he still ain't happy, man. Look how bugged out he is, man. Blinding his hair, which is leprosy, according to the scriptures, man. You know, saying all type of outbursts and, 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 and having, you know, type of, all type of, you know, uh, 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 wild moments, man. Saying all type of stuff. Coming out of his mouth, man. And, and, you know, basically he losing it, man. And you see a lot of these Negro, Latino, Native Americans, Israelites, man, that sell out, man. You know, at, at a moment, man, they think that they're having fun, you know, because they get money. You know, they, they on TV, man. They being seen, you know, they got a big follow. But, you know, later on throughout their career, man, they start catching hell, man. You know, you know they start, you know, trying to expose the so-called white man as the devil that he is. You know, but not knowing, but when they do that, man, they, the, the, uh, Esau, man, these, you know, the elites, man, or these so-called Jews that run the music industry or Hollywood or the entertainment uh, world, you know, they start taking their riches, they start demonizing, man, you know, you know, um, putting the hell on them, man, you know, but that the type of life they wanted to, um, they, you know, they choose, man, they rather choose to worship, you know, Satan and worship, you know, America. Instead of, you know, suffering and coming back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which Yahweh Shah is going to give his people a kingdom, man. But they don't want that, man. They want, they better be wicked and love this place, man. No, they don't want to suffer in righteousness, man. And wait for Yahweh Shah to, to, um, to give us that power, man. And make us, you know, rulers over the world, man. And, and have these other nations, our enemies, you know, uh, under our feet, man. In slavery, man. Because they're going to go into slavery, man. But right now, man, we are in slavery, man. And right now, we're waiting for Yahweh Shah, man. Those that truly believe and have that faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the true power, man. And we believe that we are the men that, that we set up, you know, to, to teach this word and to believe on the Lord and have patience, man. You know, but outside the, 
the that man, the two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. You know, that don't have patience, don't have belief, they gonna be destroyed, man. Like I seen this up and coming uh uh destruction of America, man. Um uh, and kind of so that was the Lord like I said, basically give him, man. He gave him a, a failing of eye, sorrow of mind. Look at Bill Cosby, man. All the years that, you know, he was, you know, making jokes for, you know, for people, man, in particular, you know, these so-called white people, man, all this stand-up uh, shows, all his, you know, uh, uh, comedy shows, his big show, you know, the Bill Cosby show, you know, all these, you know, type of, you know, the Fat Abbott show, all that money he was, you know, making throughout all the years, man. Now, look, he thought that he was uncomfortable, being, you know, uncomfortable ever since, you know, he, you know, you know retired or, Stop doing stand up, man. He in his you know seventies now, you know. And, and look, man, Esau, you know, got him, man. You know, he you know locking him up, man. You know, threatening, you know, that every woman that he assault, man, he gonna get ten years for, it, man. You know, you know cause he thought that at the end of his career, man, he was gonna sit back and live lavish, man. But Esau, you know, you know, make that mood on him, man. And now he demonizing him. You know, want to take his money from him, take his shows off the uh, off the TV, man. You know, because, you know, the, the, because Esau done had a, uh, don't use him, man. Ain't no use for him anymore, man. You know, the Lord, you know I mean? Esau used Bill Cosby basically, man, to make money off of him. But now he at the end of his career, you know, and, and he's old and he can't, you know, do nothing, man. Now the thing he can do now is just, uh, that Esau can do with him is use him up, man. Use him up and, 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 and uh, demonize him, man. You know, for things they, they accuse him of doing, man. You know, because Bill Cosby thought he was comfortable, man. Not knowing, you know, thinking, not having no fear of the Lord, man. Now he saw, you know, demonizing, man. He, you know, catching hell, man, at an old age. Where he's supposed to be, you know, sitting back and relax for all the works that he did in his life. And, you know, and, and he done put in all hard time and work, work effort, man. Now he's about to see all that go down the drain, man. You know? Because no matter, you know... What you, you know, you Israelites think, man, about America, man, thinking that America going to keep going on. You know, you thinking that, you know, hey, this is it, man. Ain't nothing better than America. But here, America is, you know, set up against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why? Because this is our captivity, man. This is, um... This is Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Arise, and ye, arise ye, and depart, for this is not your rest. You know, so in the, the scripture telling us, arise and, arise and depart, man. And the way you're going to rise up out of this way of America is talking about spiritually and, you know, mentally your mindset, man. And first of all, you got to come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, knowing that you are an Israelite, man, knowing that who, the, who your power are. Knowing the judgment that and the, and the prophecies that he got placed in these scriptures, man. And you, the way you do that, man, by taking heed to the prophets, the men of the Lord, man. You know, mainly Great Millstone, man. And the men on down, man. You know, and, and on, on down, you get your, your mindset out of the way of America, out of the ways of America, man. Because ultimately, man, you had the mindset of the Lord, man. We know that Yahweh Bashan is going to destroy America, man, according to the prophecies, man. He's going to destroy Babylon, you know, so, so, on um, that, the way you're supposed to depart, man, and physically, the Lord, Yahweh Shah, when he come back with his so-called UFO, the chariot, with the host of angels, man, you know, then, how, then when the Lord is going to deliver his elect, man, you know, those that endure to the end, man, that way you see brothers, um, putting up videos, or brothers, you know, going out there on the highways and byways pushing his word, man, because that's the way we want to be departed out of America, man. You know, starting out being spiritually, man, coming back, like I said, to this, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. So our power, man, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. The second, man, we're going to be delivered, man. Lord, when we be no men, you know, you know, that's why we, like I said, we out there, man. You know, we want to get up out of America, man, because this is not our rest, man. You know, our, our homeland is Israel, man. Not you so-called Jews, man. You fake Jews over there that have our land. The Lord is not... We're dealing with y'all, man. He's going to also destroy that land also in uh, uh, World War Three, man. And we're going to inhabit that land, you know, because you, you know, you got a rats, man. You, you, uh, Amalek, or Amalekite, Esau, or Edom, you so-called white people over there that calling yourself Jews, y'all imposters, man. You know, y'all the fake, 
you know, the, the fake Jews, man. We are the real Jews, man, the so-called real Jews, man, on uh, uh, Israel, man, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans. And once the Lord, you know, deliver us, you know, we're going to be set up again as the rulers of the earth in our homeland, man. So this is not a rest, man. America is not our rest. Um, but this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And kind so, you know, this land is polluted, man. You know, you got, you know, the laws and statutes commandments and not, are not pushed here in America, man. Matter of fact, man, they go against the law, statutes, and commandments, man. They got uh, homosexuality at all time high, which the Lord is again. You got, you know, bestiality. You know, you got witchcraft, all type of, you know, idols pushed here in America, man. Pagan holidays, man. Pagan custom, you know, that, that that's here in America, man. That, you know, Satanism, all type of wickedness that's against the scriptures, man. So it polluted our people, man. That's why you see Kanye West. Saying, you know, slavery uh, was a choice. Or he's signing up with, with Trump. Talking about making America great again. Or he trying to live that lavish lifestyle of being a rapper. Or being somebody famous. You know, because uh, uh, he's polluted, man. He's thinking that the, the ways of America is going to save him, man. And him, and his, him and these other entertainment entertainers that, that sold, sold out, man. You know, from the rappers, the basketball players, the, you know, the sports players. You know, even to you average Jake, you know, you average Negro, Latino, Native American that might have a, you know, a little job going for yourself in the military. You know, you or you got some type of little career going on, but you hoping in it, hoping in America, thinking that you're going to continue to see you know, your, your kids grow up or, or thinking that you're going to live lavish until you, until you die or old age, not knowing that you how about you was shot. It's about to bring the, the destruction of America right around the corner, man. You know, in, the, in these times that we're living in now, man. Because we can see it through the scriptures, man. Adding up. Um, and, and they say, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. So it's going to destroy our people, man. Don't we see the majority of our people, man, strung out on drugs. You know, got all type of, you know, locked up in the prison center. You know, the uh, the prison. You know, you know, you got our people, you know, uh, murdering each other, man. You know. Doing all type of wickedness, man, because this land is destroying us, man. But, you know, and over here, man, we was, you know, we lost our nationality, man, our inheritance. You know, and ultimately, it's going to destroy our people when you, the Lord Yahweh shot, come back with them chairs and bring destruction here to America, man. And ultimately, it also, he's going to finish it off with them nuclear missiles, man, when, at the end of this World War um, three. Um... Back in um, Deuteronomy, chapter 20, no. Deuteronomy, chapter 20, 28, verse uh, 66, And thou life shall hang in doubt before thee, that thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. So kind of, so you know, that fit you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Our life is hanging in doubt, man. That all you, you know, got a majority of our people marching now, you know, ever since the time of so-called, you know, Martin Luther King, man, who fighting for, you know, civil rights, man, you know, so they can so-called be equal. Not knowing that we was better being separated, man, from our enemies, man. But ever since, you know, that so-called civil rights movement, man, our people was in a, got more into a something place, man. You know, they were, you know, they, they thinking they, you know, they got nothing to fight for now, man. You know, they life hanging doubt, man. You know, being gunned down in the street by the police. Or being gunned down by, you know, your enemies, man, the so-called white man. Or the Chinese man. Or, or, or any other nation. Being gunned down by, uh, by each other, man. You know, so our life is hanging doubt, man. In the, our life hanging doubt in here in America, man. You don't know when you're going to get up the next day. And next day, you know, you may, you get, you know, get put to death like that, man. Because this, you know, the scriptures also say that this is the valley of the shadow of death, man. Because when you look here in America, man, it ain't nothing but death, man, here in America, man. You know, they talking about the Middle East, the war over there, between, you know, going on with Syria and Iraq and Afghanistan, man. You know, you, the America is the permittive of death, man. Look at all the um, bloodshed of the Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans that took place, man, you know, uh, 400 years ago until now, man. Now this place, America is full with the bloodshed uh, uh, of the Lord's people and also the, these other heathens, man. Uh, America
came up with a big, you know, uh, cesspool of of uh, of, of big land, a land of violence with blood, man. Um, the Lord said, "Thou fear, thou shall fear day and night, and shall have no assured of thy life." That's why people wonder, you know, how they gonna make ends meet, man. The day and night they thinking about how they gonna survive, man. You know. <laughs> Verse twenty, verse sixty-seven. In the morning thou shalt say, "Will Yahweh it were even, and that even thou shalt will, will Yahweh it were morning, for the fear of thy heart wherewith thou shalt fear, for the sight of thy eyes which thou shalt see." So you know, the, mainly men, our people know they you know look for the Lord and help them, you know, and day in and day out, man. But they you know, they, but they still struggling, man, and they barely getting by. Why? Because this is captivity, man. You know, and the only way you're going to come back to the Lord, you know, the Lord have mercy upon you when you come back to him and know his true name and understand his wisdom and knowledge that he gave upon uh, his men, to, you know, to be there and elect, man. But you got a lot of people that, you know, think they believe in the Lord, but they still thinking that the Lord is a so-called white man. They still follow these Christian churches or these false Israelite camps. They're not tell, t telling the truth. They, they're looking for the Lord to bless them in money, man. Thinking that money is going to save them, man. Not praying to the Lord to get them out of uh, America, man. Uh, and, 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 and give us a kingdom, man. They just thinking about, they just asking the Lord for, for uh, praying to the Lord to help them get through this captivity, man. You know, that they, they just can make ends meet and live good, man. You're not looking for the Lord or praying to the Lord to, to destroy this place and give us, give us our homeland back, man. You know, so that's what the Lord going to destroy two-thirds, man, because their mindset is it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and they're not thinking toward uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Um, verse 68, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And that word Egypt right there meaning bondage, man. You know, because the first Egypt that us, you know, Negro, Latino, Native American been in, that, I, that was our first captivity, man, and the Lord freed us from that, man. And we walked into Egypt during that time, man. You know, but this Egypt talking about spiritually America, man. Bondage, man. And this is we, this where you Negro, Latino, Native Americans are in bondage at the day, man. America, man. You know, because the scriptures talking cold, man. And one of the cold words for America is Egypt, man. Because Egypt is known for uh, the slavery uh, of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Just like America is the day. Um, and they say with ships, man. And this is how the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans came over here to the Western Hemisphere, man. By cargo slave ships, in particular, you know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know, the Negroes, Haitians, you know, and the Jamaicans, man. We came over here in a cargo slave ship, man, during the time in the, you know, the 15th century, from, you know, Spain, you know, Portugal, you know, on Port on Portugal, uh, uh, and also, like, from the, later on, man, during the, the uh, 19th century, man, when, during the time uh, on, when, on, uh, on, uh, in England, you know, France, you know, all of them, those, you know, during that time, you was, you know, being a slave in car, cargo, being enslaved on a cargo slave, slave ship, man, and being brought over here, man. And you had the, you know, the Latinos and the Native Americans also came over here in ships, man. You know, during the time after the Assyrian captivity, man, when they left off, man. You know, Second Edges, the, uh, uh, I believe the 13th chapter, you know, uh, tell you about that, man, about the 10 lost tribes that came over. From uh, from the Assyrian captivity came and dwell in a land that nobody knew about, man. And, and that land was America, man. Until the so-called white man came over, and, and the where well, the Edomites came over and took the land for the, the Latinos and the Native Americans, man. Showing you that the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are the same people, man. Because that prophecy fit us and that we are the children of Israel, and the so-called white man is Esau, because we were going to be in in slavery under the so-called white man. And the so-called white man took down the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. <clears throat> um, verse 69. And with ships, by the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, there, shall, there ye shall be sold unto your enemy for buying, women, buying men and buying women, and no man shall buy you. So, you know, the Lord said we there, me here in America, man, we're going to be sold into our enemies, man. You know, that's why, you know, we have, you saw the auction block, man. You know, uh, uh, 
slave, you know, slave auction blocks, you know, selling us off on the on a on, on a market, man. The different plantations throughout America, man. You know, throughout, you know, the, the, the countries, man, the earth, man. You know, different parts of the you know the country, man, the world. You know, amongst the Arabs, amongst the, the uh, Africans, amongst the, the East Indians, the Chinese, man. You know, because that was our, our punishment, man, for for disobeying Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. And he said, no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall redeem you, man. That word buy means redeem you, man. Because the only one that can redeem us is Yahweh Shah, man, for the world called Jesus Christ, man. And he only died for the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect, man, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, so that's why we're here in the slavery today, man. Let me get one more scripture. I'm going uh, to close it out. This is Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. So we are in the captivity today, man. You know, until this day, man, we are in captivity, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, here in America, man, you're not free, man. You know, Abraham Lincoln did not free the uh, uh, the Negroes, man. The only thing that he did is transit the, the power from out of the hand of the state into the federal government, man. So we still got to, you know, pay taxes. We still got to get up and pay bills. And look, the scripture said we are subject to payments, man. You know, taxes, you know, bills, light bill, like I said, water bill, food, gas, car payment. You know, anything to do of order, order for us to survive, man, we have to pay, you know, work, 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 and gain this fiat money, this dollar that we're about to collapse. And, 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 and only, you know, only to survive, man. To get our necessary things, and, you know, like I said, to survive. And the next thing they want to do is implement that RFID chip, man, the mark of the beast. Because the dollar is crashing, man. You know, and, and the next step is to crash this system and, and get the, and put the RFID chip in every person's hand, hands or head, man. You know, which is going to represent that you are a, 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 a slave, man. A mark. A mark, the mark of the beast represent that you were going to be uh, marked for them to be, basically to be uh, under them, man. Be in, implement with a chip so you can be, you know, under their system, man. Proving that you're going to be a slave, man. You know, but brothers that have that faith, man, we pray to the Lord that he deliver us from that, man. Because we only slaves to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And the Lord is going to, you know, righteously raise us up, man. And, 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 and defeat. Our uh, enemies, man, because we already know those who take that RFID chip, man, that mark the beast, is going to be destroyed in the thermonuclear um, fire, man, when you have a shot come back, man, and have a nu nuclear missile destroy America, man, you know. Um, so, basically, man, this is, you know, just a quick little scripture, man, on Deuteronomy, you know, the 28th chapter, you know, you know, six, you know, verse 64 to 68, man, you know, proving that, you know, the reason why Negro, Latino, Native American came into the slavery, man, it was not a choice, man, because we went against the law, statutes, and commandments, man, and everything predestinated, because all oh, this is the Yahweh Bashan Yahweh movement, man, you know, but, but the Lord is, just like we had a slavery, man, we are at the end of our slavery, man, and, our, and the next thing to, to come is you so-called white people slavery, man. That when Yahweh shall come back and destroy America and bring down your kingdom, man, then raise up the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect, you so-called white people, man, you first, the first fruits of slavery is going to be you elites, man, you super rich bankers, and the rest of you heathen nations is going to go into captivity under the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So like I say, this place is not our rest, man. The Lord Yahweh shall is going to come back and redeem us, man. We believe in that, man, because we see the work of the Lord being played out, man. Assume, man, because the scripture said we are at the end of our captivity, man. Now, you see Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, waking up, claiming that we are the Israelite and pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, mainly great millstone, man, and, and, and the truth, man, and, and proclaiming the downfall of this place and proclaiming the uprising of uh, 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 Israel, man, and, and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, the God of the Bible, man, saying that he was going to fulfill his word, man. And that's why we, you know, we believe, and how, how, how you know that we are at the end, man, of our captivity, 
And the Lord is about to visit our enemies, man. You know, so brothers that's in this faith, man, keep pushing and keep fighting, man. You know, for those that want to, they, they, or the stupid comment that Kanye West, it was slavery was a choice. No, man. The Lord put put us in slavery. The Negro, Latino, Native American is slavery for a, a, a rebellious against him and his son, man. And what you doing to the day, man? You know, two-thirds, man. Now the Lord is going to destroy the majority of his people. Two-thirds of you Negro, Latino, Native American. Those who not taking heed and those that do take heed will continue to push, man. You know, and continue to believe, man. Because the Lord surely is going to fulfill his word, man. So slavery was not a choice, man. It was a punishment, man, for the Negro, Latino, the Native American. But the thing about it, the good thing about it, the Lord is about to come back and redeem his elect, man, his nation, his chosen people, and raise us up, man. So, you know, the, you know, the next time, you know, I'm going to give all praise to the next time. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rokah, Kadash, the bonds to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and Ruel. And shalom on to the Akim, the brothers that's in the ministry on the highways and byways, uplifting the name and uh, the, the power of Yahweh Shemiah and faith and truth and sincerity. Shalom on.